So let's take it towards uh, San Jose, San Francisco. Switching lanes, I just press the button. Lane switch is pretty smooth. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna take it back to Tesla now. To the Tesla Coma Ceremony. So now it's gonna go on full self-driving for us. Switches lanes to the left, pretty good. Now it's gonna exit over here. Oh, no, it wants to go to San Jose, so it's gonna to switch to San Jose. Overall, suspension on the freeway. Initial thoughts, kind of bumpy. Kind of bumpy suspension. Oh, wow. Even the voice change for this. The voice is different. Okay, here's a full self-driving map. So here, it switched lanes to San Jose. Um, yeah, suspension is a little bit bumpier yeah, compared to the long range, for sure. And then the voice is actually different, which is so interesting. So we're switching lanes here, San Jose on the right, okay. Cool. In 1,000 feet, take exit 47A on the right onto Saramont Boulevard. So we're gonna exit here on Saramonte Boulevard. Overall, impressed. Suspension bumpy, but it is a performance car. I have a Mall S long range BMW i8. This definitely feels like the fastest car I've been in. I'm pretty sure the Plaid's faster, but the body's so big for the Plaid. So here we go, switching lanes here. And then yeah, successful exit. We're gonna take a left over here. This is gonna switch lanes for us. Signal here to the left. Now turn left onto Saramont Boulevard. So we're gonna signal here to the left. All right, so far so good, guys. I'm actually gonna take over now, and then we're gonna go kind of park the car, and then just like walk around the car, see the exterior, show you guys more of the interior, just a full kind of look around of everything. So far so good. I'm impressed. It's super fast. I love the interior. It def I'm kind of actually a little nauseous now because it's so freaking quick. I actually really realize I don't really think I'm gonna go that quick, but if you do take the car to the track, it's probably a fun car to drive on the track. Keep right to take Collins Avenue, then turn right. Yeah, going from a gas car to electric car is extremely different, guys. So I'm gonna press end trip. Okay, cool. I'm impressed so far with the car. Really love the way it drives, kind of bumpy but extremely quick. And the white looks gorgeous, guys. Would you guys buy this for 56, 380? After tax, you're probably around $60,000 or so, which is a huge chunk. But I mean, hey, if you really like this car, probably do it. I think the Multi Performance was my favorite car before everything, before we switching to the Mall S uh, long range. So overall, Pretty good, pretty good experience in the car. All right guys, up in the back roads, let's just see how it performs. Super quick, oh my gosh. It's extremely quick. It's similar to like a, uh, if you feel it more on the Model 3 because the Model S, it's not as quick. It's, it's just as fast actually, but the body of the S is so big that you can't really feel the car. But this car is nice. It's super nimble. It's definitely what uh, you probably can tell it's a pretty good daily driver. Let's go. Whoa, it feels like a race car. It's freaking crazy. Yeah, I'm super impressed so far. 0 to 63.1 seconds. I think if you want a fast, fun, nimble car, this is the car for you. Um, suspension's pretty smooth as well. I'm impressed by the suspension. Um, I've had the air suspension in the Model 3, I mean, sorry, in the Model S, as well as the Model X, and it still felt very bumpy, but so far this hasn't been bumpy, and I'm just on the, the side roads right now. I'm not going towards the, uh, I'm not on the freeway or any, any crazy bumpy roads, but so far, so good. Gotta sneeze, guys. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. But overall, I'm enjoying 
the drive right now. I'm gonna make a left over here and uh, just to see, you guys can see my reaction of how it's performing so far. Yeah, overall, man, I've been imp impressed by the, the three. I, I think it's like a really good daily driver. I honestly, like if I didn't want a really fancy looking car and I was tired of the Model S, I'd definitely just get a Model 3, to be honest with you. Like, even if you get the Highland, it, it'd probably be a really good daily driver. I turn left here. All right, guys, so we're gonna actually take a look at the entire interior again. So here's the screen. The UI is a lot different. They, as you can see, it's their performance. And it's so interesting. You can actually spin it around and you look at the entire car, which is pretty freaking cool. Tesla does a great job on the software, but let's take a look. So if you press um, that, it should open the frunk. So there you go, the frunk is open. Here, if you press this, it opens your charge port. And then you can go back here, it opens your trunk. Pretty cool. So let's take a look at the interior. So we have the um, all white interior, and then you also have the lights, which is basically your accent and your dome lights. So I think for the accent lights, you can just change it to the color you like. So as you can see, it's kind of changing. Blue, and then green, yellow, pink. Pretty cool. Green again. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Um, interesting. Okay, so that is the interior. You do have speakers over here and over there. And then you, those back seats, they are heated and ventilated again. So the back seats are heated and ventilated, which is nice. And then you could basically take a look at the entire car, right? Very similar, just subtle changes like the two front seats.